Yeah, so hi YouTube. Today I'm doing a video different from normal videos that I do. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna show you about this calculator tips and tricks of this calculator called Casio Night. Oh shit. Uh, FX 95SG Plus. Yeah, whatever. Okay. Okay, now I'm gonna teach you. The first thing I'm gonna teach you is about the errors. Yeah. I, I bet you know what syntax error, right? You just r do random stuff like plus and equals. Give a freaking syntax error. Which is something that doesn't make sense. See? Types this random thing. Get a syntax error. But if you type this, you won't get a syntax error. You get, you get answer. So if my answer is 6, you get 6. You won't get syntax error. Yeah. So now we're moving on to math error. The second is just error. And yeah. Something that doesn't make sense too. Like like this. Like this. You give infinity. Now you give it this. You won't give infinity. I give you math error. Okay, um, then there's, oh wow. Jero skyped me. Never mind. They skyped me again. I don't give a shit. Okay, never mind. Um, now that's an easier way to do, um, the, oh god, stop skyping me. Okay, that's an, e I don't know where they can see the Skype anyway. Okay, that's an easier way to, um, do math error in just two steps. If you count equal as one step, just keep pressing log. Yeah, and see, uh, it doesn't give you a math, math error straight away. Okay, when 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 you see a minus sign of a negative sign over here, a negative something, that means it's gonna give you a math error the next time you do it. Like like yeah, like now, and try to convince your friends um that yeah, just press on. You, you know, on resets the whole cal calculator memory, so it doesn't reset this. Still math error. Okay, now we're moving on to stack error. Stack error is quite easy. Okay, you see these five buttons here, sin, cost, 10, in, and lock. You just have to keep clicking any one of them many, many times. Okay, let's just check cost. Many, many times. Yeah, seriously, a lot of times. Like what I'm doing now. A lot, a lot of times. Okay, okay. I guess it's enough. Yeah, you get a stack error. Okay, now we're moving on to argument error. Argument error is... It's um it's quite uh, difficult to m remember. Just remember this. You can rewind a video anyway. It's a video. It's a video after all. Okay, just press alpha. This this thing this thing over here. This decimal point over here, and you should get this thing. Now you press any number, any number here. Let's just let's do one, and um shift. Um uh what's this uh right bracket. Then, which gives you the this comma, and let's press any number again. Let's just try six, okay? Uh, oh shit! Oh wrong. No, you must do it zero. Yeah, you must do zero. Okay, it gives you an argument error. I I I just try if other numbers. Okay, other numbers works. Two, nine. Okay, it still gives you. I don't know. You just have to play around with it. Okay, the next one is not really an error or it. It doesn't have an error in no shit wrong wrong that's wrong that's wrong. You go to mood and you go to um what's that equation yup and you press I think it works with anyone I'm just gonna try it for oh yeah and now you just have to no it's not four it's not four okay um shit shit okay you just have to go three and two I guess yeah okay you see this and you just press A C and equal at the same time uh something you went yeah there there you go there you go A C break. Sometimes if you do it wrongly, you'll get this instead. Math error. Yeah, and it's quite an easy way to get math error in just one step, but it's kind of shitting. Okay, let's go back to the normal state. And now I'm going to teach you how to type in letters. Yeah, it's quite e it's quite easy too. Let's press alpha, and you see this um, A, B, C. I don't know if you can see because it it's quite blur, and X, Y, M. Just have to click alpha and any one of these, and you get the number written in red. So let's try if this minus sign you get a shit um ah i'm looking through the the, the thing um screen b c d x y and m yeah there you go there you go yeah okay and now i'm gonna teach you how to type complex no not really com complex letters just letters that are not found in here oh, wait let's do some more okay um see this answer button over here and you see an DRG shift this button and you can type um yeah you press one and it looks like a freaking bubble and two is R a floating R three is a floating G 
But now I'm gonna teach you how to type oh R that's not floating, it makes more sense. Go to stat mode and and now you just press any button from one to eight, like six, and press A C. Now you press shift and you see this one that's uh something on top called stat. Press it, you should get the screen. Now um type R not the floating R, just go five and press three and you should get the R over here. And you can also type N, you go, um, yeah, do the same thing and go 4 and press 1. And you can see that, um, you can do a lot of stuff like this random thing, I don't even know. Ah, what's this? This is, it looks like an O and a Y. I don't know what I'm, I'm typing. Okay, then next, that's A, that's a small A. And a small B. Yeah. So that's how you type it, and you can just go to your friend, say, I type this, I type something, no, I type something called this, and your friend will ask you, how do you even type this, no, before you ask you, how do you type this, they'll ask you, what the hell is this, and I don't think you can answer that, let's go back to the normal mood, yeah, okay, now I'm gonna teach you how to yeah, how to input numbers into this letter. See, see these letters over here? I'm going to teach you how to input numbers into them. Okay, firstly, type any number. Can be It can be also an equation like 7 times 9, which is a 63. Okay, um, shift, RCL, and press A. And now A is 63. So whenever you press A, it's 63. You can do that for any numbers. Okay, let's try 96 for B. Yeah, and you take, if you take B minus A, you'll get 96 minus 63 equals 33. And if you type A and B like the Oh, shit. Um, damn it. Type A and B like this, and you get the product of A and B, which is this number. Oh, yeah, and another trick. You press 7, shift, and on at the same time like this, and... Don't press AC, don't press AC, press 9. You get this weird looking thing, just keep pressing shift, you know. Keep pressing shift. And you get the screen, just wait for it. Wait for it, for the AC thing to come out. I'm not, I'm not even doing anything. Look. Look. Okay, press AC. Now I can adjust the brightness, yeah, this is super bright, and this is super dark. Yeah, you can hold it, you can hold it. And see, the numbers are going down there. Yeah, let's just... I can reset this anyway. Okay, um, then after that, press AC and press shift, alpha, top, right, mode, don't press on, ABS, um, cube, um, what's this, left, down, um, this random thing, exclamation mark, fraction, square root, and yeah. So you can just do this. Yes, yeah, it's it's it's, it's, some, it's, quite, it's quite a random addition to this. I don't even know what it added. Yeah, press equal. Yeah, it has okay, reset or oh, press A C. Now it has reset to the calculator. So oh shit. So now A is zero and B is also zero. Okay, now I'm gonna teach you how to reset your whole calculator, basically. So, to reset everything, okay, let's just say, I type, um, 56 for, for C. 56 is C. Now, to reset the whole calculator, just press Shift 9, and clear setup, memory, and all. So, now we're clearing memory. Okay, press all anyway. And reset all, yes. Oh, I press the minus sign, press equal. Reset all, press the AC key. And... Now C is zero. C yeah, C is zero now. Okay, now I'm gonna teach you how to set your calculator. Like I did this before, I accidentally go there instead of mood, I go to setup. Okay, now there are, there are many stuff here. My okay. Um you uh, you can really you can seriously throw your friends by pressing seven and pressing nine. And when they say one plus one equals uh, what the hell is this? It's equal to two point zero 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 times ten uh, in the power of zero. Yeah, basically it's just two. Yeah, and to set back to normal, just just either do the nine thingy, uh, the, the this thing I did I taught you earlier, or um 
norm. Yeah, can press either one or two. And now one plus one is two. Yay. Okay, now you can go to yeah. If you go to this, now it's not stat, but the zero thing will appear, and and you can seriously show your friends. See, like this, like this. One plus one equals three. That's it. You have to hide this thing. Yes, but let's put it here. See, it looks more like a one now. <laughs> one plus one is three. Yeah, I'm so pro. Okay, let's go to this thing. And this, so now, when you type 9 divided by 6, it should give you a fraction, but instead it won't give you a fraction, it will give a decimal, like this, 1.5 instead of 1, 1, or uh, uh, the 3 over 2. Okay, now, okay, this, um, if you put this and you type in uh, 9 divided by 6, it will give you 1 and 1 over 2, in but if you put this, it will give you um, 3 over 2. Now this thing, oh yeah, Be before I move on to... Um, three. Let's do four first. Four stat frequency. Frequency let's only and show you what it does. Doesn't do anything in a normal mode. Let's go to stat and press any random button from one to eight. That's three. And you see a new thing called frequency. This thing is practically useless. You appear one for everything in time. Yeah, yeah, see, one is one keeps appearing. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now let's go to five. Five. Yeah, you can also show your friends using this. So now when you time nine divided by six, they will they will get a nine comma. F I mean a one comma five instead of one point five. Then you say, what the hell is one comma five? One comma five. It's a syntax error. Now let's go to this thing. Is just set your brightness and darkness. Yeah, you can see here. You can see you just set your brightness and darkness. Not nothing new, nothing new. Okay, now I'm gonna teach you how to type the angle degree. I mean, I mean not not a degree, the angle sign. You know the the the, the unfinished triangle sign. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> and the I, the I. Yes, the letter I, not the E Y E. The letter uh, shit. The letter I. First, you have to go to equation mode. Then I know it's quite a kind of blur then you go four then you just click one equals one equals one equals and one equals and you just go back to the start press equals you see this minus one but if you pre uh, press equals again and they give an i yeah how cool is that and i look an i but if you change the thing to um this the um instead of one one is the I thingy. If you press two, it will be a it'll be this thing. See, see this thing over here, the the unfinished triangle sign. And yeah, so on and so forth. Okay. Um, that's all I need to show you today. So, be sure to subscribe and like this video. Bye, YouTube.